before we go upstairs, let's pan around the basement. The newly furnished and decorated basement. We go upstairs. The festivities of Christmas, 1990 in the mayor house up here. Here we go. Here are the keys are. Yeah, this is all yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get me on tape then? Here, get them before the battery goes dead. I'll be waiting. Mike, didn't you want to hang this one? Every year. Are you taping? I sure am, Dad. I want to show you uh, well, this Can't Christmas tree uh, was uh, Ooh, 22 feet like tall when we started, but I had to keep cutting it down to get it level. And as you can see, we're down to, uh, if you'll pan over to the tree, you'll see we got down to seven and a half feet. But we have a very nice trunk. It's one of the prettiest trees And uh, we did put it up a little early this year. Everybody Today is the 15th? Today would be the uh, 16th. 16th. Usually we put it up around the 23rd, 24th, something like that. Because we don't like to rush into it. So, uh, it's going up at 20 after 9. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas cheers for Mom. Merry Christmas. I fear we're a little too early this year. I fear, I fear that our needles from our tree are going to fall. We but we have that nice tree skirt to catch them after they fall. Yeah, everybody can show. Are we here? Do you like to see Mom's tree skirt? Move it too fast. It's uh, reversible. Yeah. Yeah. Move that counter real slow. Very nice. Yes, Daddy. Mom, look at the ring. Well, I'll be back to check on the chain a little bit. I'll move outside. It's the same kind of dollar ring. And Mom will describe her ancient Christmas decorations. This here is from 1955. My mother sent me to the avenue about 10 o'clock at night, pitch night on a Friday, pitch dark on a Friday night, and I had to beg Uncle Joe or Uncle Pat to come with me because I was afraid. We had the only Christmas decoration we could afford was to buy them half price on Christmas Eve night, and I, I got a whole bunch of these, and I managed to salvage these two left. And Uncle Joe, Joe and Uncle Pat yeah. are still begging and crying for them. But these are worth about $1,000 each. They're tin. But they have very good sentimental value. So I keep them hung up here so we don't accidentally throw them away with the Christmas tree. Very keep my eye on them for when my brothers and si sisters come over here. You like them? They sure are and nice, Danny Mom. made all these. Danny can show all the stuff. I mean, these angels here are from our first Christmas tree. tree on Quentin Street. We had them all around the window. How about that? And on St. Nicholas Day, Dan showed Michael the angels that came in the door. These came in a in paper bag on the door. Because Timmy's boot was out on the on the porch on St. Nicholas. Oh. That's an interesting anecdote, Jar. Do you have a Christmas anecdote for me? No. No anecdotes? Fine, Dad. No, Dad's not there anymore. But well, I'm going to go out and check on the uh, scenery around Roxborough. I will be back. Here's Christmas 1990 mayors outside. Christmas lights, candles in the window, Jerry's new car in the driveway, a elaborate. Uh, cars driving down Shulman Avenue, thoroughfare. It's a little nip out. So far, a mild winter. Let's go check gardeners. Gardeners are decorated. I think we hear bear. It's bear, first time on video, probably. Here he comes. Bear, hey bear, it's me, don't bite me. Yeah, bear, okay. Okay, I can barely see you, bear. All right, I'm gonna go check on Gardner's house, then we'll head back in, finish decorating the tree. The gardener's got a little different thing this year. Ooh, Christmas lights on their hedges. I guess it should uh, show their uh, true spirit. Oh, like they have colored lights in the bushes. Moderate candles as we do. 
back in. It's the Christmas house. Let's actually go inside. Let's take a look at the uh, decorated porch this year. Well, looks like we have a little Christmas Santa greeting on the left gutter, or Christmas wreath, nicely decorated by mom. And the, uh, the antique sled. The uh, Yuletide greeting on it. Little uh, berries and whatever. It's the Christmas card tree we've received. So far it's a little short. Well, we hope that'll grow in the next seven to eight Christmas shopping days before Christmas. Decorator still hard at work. And bear, first, second time on video. Bear! Bear! Yes, mommy. Hey, get away, bear. Now, Dan, now, let's look. It's back for us. It's back for Christmas. Put an end to this. Here's the mantle. Santa. Here it comes. Boom! Who are you talking to there, Tim? Who are you talking to there, Tim? Uh, really? Uh, hmm. What are you looking at there, Tim? Hi. Hi, Danny. Let's get a, a quick view of the uh, living room. Little bows on the... We made this in Thanks, Girl Scouts. We made yeah. that in Girl Scouts. Oh wait, let me light this tree up for you. Still on the phone. I wonder if it's long distance. That's gross. Terry's ball is nice. And it looks like a poinsettia. Okay. Let's get a final view of the Christmas tree before we wrap this in here. Oh, the Christmas blanket.